Have you ever looked at your report and noticed that your personal information had variations of your first name, last name, your address, your phone number, your job history, everything was messed up? Well, we're going to discuss how you can remove that in the next 24 hours. So sit back, relax, grab a pen, get some paper, get something to drink, because we about to get straight into it. But hold up, before we get into that process, I got a disclaimer. If you don't know, when it comes to credit repair, everything isn't 100% guaranteed. But if that process don't work to remove that personal information, I'm gonna show you another process. And if that process don't work, I'm gonna show you another process. I just wanna give you everything you need to remove that personal information. So let's get into it. So first things first, in order to remove that personal information, what you wanna do is go ahead and create an account with Experian create an account with TransUnion and create an account with Equifax. When it comes to um, TransUnion, you're going to you're gonna be on a screen that looks similar to this right here. So you're going to click on login. Okay, I'm going to have the link for you, but you're going to click on login. Okay, now once you click on login, if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create an account or free account with TransUnion. Okay, now if you have, you know, login, you just go ahead and log in. But when it comes to Equifax, the same thing applies. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and create an account with um, Equifax. If you don't have an account, just register. And then if you already have one, go ahead and put your personal information. But now what I'm going to do is just walk you through the process when it comes to Experian. I just want to let you know, Equifax report is a little bit different. Here's why. They don't give you a lot of details that you're going to see on Experian. They're not going to give you a lot of details that you're going to see on TransUnion, okay? But it's okay. I'm going to show you what to do when it comes to that. So... In order to remove that personal information off Experian, here's what you want to do, okay? You're going to click on, like once you're on the home screen, all you're going to do is just click on, all we at the bottom, you're going to see support. You're going to click on Help Center, okay? Now, once you click on Help Center, now what you want to do is click on File a Dispute. Now, once you click on File a Dispute, you want to click on Start New, a hey, Start a New Dispute, okay? Now, what you're going to see is, you're going to click on the personal information, but what you're going to see is different variations of your name, different variations of your address and different variations of your phone number and history and things like that. You're going to see a lot of personal information that is incorrect on your Experian account. Now, what I want you to do is click on every single address. All right. You're going to see addresses that are associated with accounts. So you're going to see addresses that are not associated with accounts. All right. So what do you do? You're probably thinking, what do you do? So the addresses that are associated with accounts, you're not going to be able to dispute online, but what you want to do is just make a notice or just document everything that is associated with a specific um, account and the ones that are not are not associated, you can go ahead and dispute those online right now. And within 24 hours, you're going to be able to get those removed. So just click on every single address that is um, on your report and see what is associated with. Now, like I said, the ones that are not associated with specific accounts, go ahead and dispute it. The ones that are, go ahead and um, just document it. And the same thing for your um, first name, in your um in your phone numbers right so the ones that are when you look at your personal information your first name you can go ahead and dispute those as well and your phone numbers as well you can go ahead and dispute those as well and if you have job history that you don't like if you've been living if you've been working somewhere and you don't work there no more go ahead and remove that as well as well as if you have a spouse or you're no longer with your spouse or you just have um somebody on their cone app co-applicant or whatever Dispute that as well. You want to get all that cleaned up, all right? You only want to have your first name, your last name, of course, your middle name, and then one phone number, one address, and of course, one job history, all right? You don't want to... When somebody looks at your report, it should be simple, okay? It should be like, all right, this person's first name, last name, they work here. This is their phone number if I need to get in contact with them. It should be that simple when they look at your report, okay? Now... Next, what you want to do is allow that to happen within the next 24 hours, okay? And you can do the same thing for TransUnion. Go ahead and create an account. And you're going to see the same exact thing. It's going to be really simple. All you got to do is click on file a dispute. And what you're going to see is variations of, um, you're going to see all your names. You're going to see all your addresses, phone numbers, and things like that. It's the same exact process. TransUnion, Equifax, you're just going to see a few stuff on Equifax, okay? But... If that doesn't work, if that doesn't come off in the next 24 hours, what do you do? Let me break, let me basically break it down to what you need to do to remove your personal information off of your um, credit report in the next, you know, 
three to four or well, not three to four hours in the next three to four days what you want to do is you want to call Experian, call transgen and call, call equifax to go ahead and remove to try to dispute online to remove some of that information all right now it should only take like i said 24 hours after you call in to actually dispute now if they act crazy now let's go ahead and create a letter and let me show you how to create this letter of what you need to do so here's what you're going to do next we're going to go ahead and create a letter um, to remove that personal information so we're going to create three separate letters one for transunion one for experian one for equifax okay now the addresses that didn't get removed from your credit report you should know you can be able to you can you can log back into experian you can log back into transunion you can log back into equifax and see what addresses didn't get removed from your credit report and go ahead and sometimes like i said equifax play crazy so whatever you put on let's just say um Experian just go ahead and put that on Equifax because they don't have all the addresses like Experian and TransUnion do now when you order your report like you get a report from Equifax now you're going to see different all the information but online you know it's not the best so to remove your personal information to create your letter here's what you want to do to remove that personal information put today's date of course put your first name put your last name put your address and then to whom it concerns okay are we talking to Experian? are we talking to TransUnion? are we talking to equifax okay and basically what you're saying is i just looked over my report and found some addresses that appear to be incorrect i have closed documentation provided proof of my current address as instructed to do on your website all right so all the addresses that you want to get removed from your credit report, list all those addresses on your report, okay? And then basically tell them what is the correct address that you want to be on your report. Very important, okay? What address you only wanna have on your report. And then also, as you can see, you wanna list all your, um, your incorrect names on your report, okay? So I know I have this one, two, three, but just list all the names that are incorrect on Experian. And then list all the names that are incorrect on TransUnion. Like I said, you make it three separate letters. And then all the names, assuming that Equifax is playing crazy, just put all the names that are incorrect on Equifax. And then you, and then we want to do is remove employees as well. Okay. And then I forgot to add phone numbers on here. So you can just go ahead and make a section that's just for phone numbers to remove phone numbers if they don't remove it um, from the first time that you disputed on Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Most of the time, it should be already correct. But like I said, they play crazy. So this is what we got to do to remove the information off our credit report. All right. Now, like I said, everything is 100% guaranteed. So let me show you what to do. When you All right. When you send this letter out, I forgot, you got to send it to um, either Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, add two forms of identification. Very important. Send it certified. The reason why you want to send it certified is because you want to ensure that they received it. And then from there, give it a little bit of time to get it removed. It shouldn't take more than seven days for them to remove personal information off your report. You can also call in to double check to see if they got the letter. But then if they play crazy, let me show you what you need to do next to go ahead and remove that personal information off your report. So assuming that your personal information doesn't get removed, here's what you want to do. You sure already know. If you don't know, we're going to file a complaint with the CFPB, all right? Now, what you want to do is just click on submit a complaint. Now, once you're on this screen, you just want to scroll down to the bottom and click on start new complaint, okay? Now, fill out this information, all right? So first name, last name, email, phone number, create a password, and go ahead and verify your information. Now, once you're on that screen, you're going to be in the back portal. Now, once you're in the back portal, just click on start new dispute and you're going to be on a screen that looks similar to this. Here's what I was talking about. You want to go ahead and click on credit reporting and then click on scroll all the way down to the bottom, right? Scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on credit reporting again. Again, And then once you're there, you're going to be on a screen that looks similar to this. All right. So now what should you do next? You're going to click on incorrect information on your credit report. OK, now what are the options that you want to pick? You have multiple options, but information belongs to someone else. Information is missing that should be on your report. Account information is incorrect. Account status, personal information, which one? Old information. Or we're going to do personal information that's incorrect, all right? Now, have you already tried to fix this, this problem with this company? Yes. Did you request information? You did not request information. Try to fix the problem. Now, what you want to do next is just scroll down and then basically... I might have something already written up for you, but 
just going to be probably the same for everybody. So here's what you want to do. I just looked at, I just looked over my report on February 1st, 2024. Now, who, what, when, how, why? Basically, you want to put the specific day that you looked at your report. So it could be February. It could be in back in um, January last year. Whenever it was, just put the specific day that you looked over your report, all right? And found some addresses that appear to be incorrect. And according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, whenever a consumer report agency prepares a consumer report, it shall follow reasonable procedures to ensure maximum possible accuracy of the information concerning the individual about whom the report relates. Very important, all right? And that's according to, you can look up the law yourself, 15 USC 1681 um, EB, all right? And then who are we talking to? Experian, TransGenior, and Equifax, all right? So Experian continues to report my name, my address, and phone number incorrect on my credit report. I also attach my letter that I sent back on February 1st, 2024. Here's my tracking number, all right? Very important, like we talked about earlier, make sure you send out the track or make sure you send it certified so you can have the tracking number and you have all the evidence um, when it comes to this. So next, what do you want to do? Hey, delete, um, fix my personal information or delete my personal information. And then there, and from there, which one do is just click on attach documents. You can attach the letter that you also sent already. And you can also take a picture if you want to of the certified tracking to show proof. It's up to you. Now, which one do is now it just click on next. Okay. Very important. And then who are we talking to? Are we, like I said, from on here, we're talking to Experian, but if you're talking to TransUnion, just look for a TransUnion. So inf information solution, social name as appears and date of birth on your credit report. All right. So fill in that information. Do you want to complain with another company? No. The reason why we don't, the reason why we don't want to complain with another company, because we want to make sure Experian does what Experian needs to do. We want to make sure TransUnion does what TransUnion need to do. And we want to make sure Equifax does what Equifax needs to do. All right. So just create three separate complaints. Make sure you send out your letters, do what you need to do. Now you submitted your complaint. Now you need to wait, but you're probably wondering, what about my negative accounts? What about the things that are holding my credit score back? What should I do to remove those derogatory accounts? I know you have all those questions. So I got you. Go watch this video right here and I'll walk you through the entire process just like I did when it came to personal information to remove that personal information. I'm gonna walk you through the whole entire process to remove all the things that's holding your credit score back. So I'll go see you in this video right here.